Hi everybody, this is YouTube user TJ Elevator Fan here, and you know what day it is today? Let's see, let me guess. Uh, is it, is it Christmas? Uh, no, they close. It's, uh, oh, I bet I know. It's New Year's Eve tonight, isn't it? Yep, it's New Year's Eve. Oh, 2017, so we're going to be ringing in 2018, and back this year by popular request, we have the TJ Elevator Fan Ball Drop. Let's see, what kind of ball do we have this year? It's a, it's a little bit different than what we've been doing, because this is actually a multicolored ball, whereas we... We have just been having like one color, but this is actually a multicolored ball this yeah, year. Yeah, it's it's a six inch plastic multicolored ball with a uh, one hundred colored lights on it, and it's going to be dropping down in. Uh, well, let's see. It's about an hour now, isn't it? Till it till it yeah. drops down. We got the counter going over here. We've got about an hour until the new year. Yep. So, what do you think? Uh, so, 2017, has it been a good year for you? I think we've had a good year this year. It's yeah, I think we good. have too. Let's see. We, uh, we've had several good trips. We got to go up to Washington, D.C. several times, a couple times anyway. Yeah, we did. We just got back from there for Christmas, didn't we? Yeah, and we also went up, went up there over the summer and we, uh, we got to stay at the Trump Hotel, didn't we? Oh, wow. Did we get to meet Donald yeah. Trump? No. <laughs> oh, we just stayed at this hotel. That was a, that yeah, was a nice hotel. That was a nice hotel, though. I enjoyed that stay. Right. So if you're ever in Washington, D.C., would you recommend the Trump Hotel? I would. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. I know. And what else did we do this year? We went to Washington. What else did we see in Washington? Well, let's see. We saw several of the landmarks, like the, uh, the Lincoln Memorial. And uh, on our recent trip, we saw the Jefferson Memorial. And... Uh, on a summer trip, we saw the Capitol. Yes, we did. That was, so, that was interesting to see the Capitol, where the government of our country is. Yes. And uh, this last time, we got to see something really unique. We got to see the uh, National Christmas Tree. Yes, because they had the, uh, the Christmas tree out at the... Um, had the Christmas tree out there, so... Because uh, it was all decorated up for Christmas in Washington, wasn't it? It really was. It was pretty in Washington. That's a good time to go. Yeah, it Christmas. was. I enjoyed the Washington Christmas trip, but I enjoyed the summer trip, too. Yeah, we did. Where did we stay at the Christmas break one? We stayed at the downtown Hampton Inn in Washington, D.C., over... Uh, kind of near the White House. And that was a unique building. Wasn't yeah, because that, that actually used to be the uh, editor's building, and I think it, uh, think the hotel opened sometime around 2012-2013 time frame. Mm-hmm. And what did we do besides the Capitol uh, tree and all that? What was our main agenda for going? Well, on? let's see. We did a couple things. We did the... Uh, mm, we went to the uh, Air Force Museum at Chantilly, but we also, in downtown Washington, we went to the Bible Museum that just opened up there this year. Yeah, what did you think about that? That was really neat. I actually really enjoyed that, so if anybody ever goes to Washington, that would be another landmark to recommend is the Bible Museum. Yeah, that was a really good Bible Museum, too. They had some nice exhibits and... You, there was one room, remember the one room that you go into? Actually, it was a, more than just a room, but it, it like takes you back in time, like you're walking through through Nazareth in the time of Jesus. And, and you have a synagogue, and you have uh, olive trees uh, in there, and it was really almost like going like to the Holy Land, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's really neat. So let's see, what else did we do this year? I think we actually took a couple trips, so we went down to the some of the coast too, like we went to Outer Banks, didn't we? We did. We went to Outer Banks, and that, I remember we went to the Outer Banks, uh, like back in March, I believe it was, and it was still cold then. It was, yeah, it was. Couldn't uh, couldn't go swimming. <laughs> no. But, uh, we did get to go around and see a few of the lighthouses. Yeah. Up there, and that was really interesting too. And TJ yep. did his first car ferry. Yep, I enjoyed the car ferry, and uh, and speaking of uh, lighthouses, how's your book doing? <laughs> Well, it's it's going pretty good, and I'll uh, I'll uh, put in a plug here for it. Uh, Ripples is now available, uh, not in printed form yet. I've, I've still got to get the uh, the actual printed copies for the proofs back from the publisher, and it should be available later this uh, this month in January uh, on uh, 
Well, hopefully it'll be available another month. And be sure to look at www.foggypointlight.com and I'll be putting a blog out there. But if you want to see the blog now, it's not quite on the website yet, but there is a website for the blog. It's www.foggypointlight.blog. And I'll be giving an update as to when everything is available. But uh, Ripples is, is now available on uh, ebook. It's on ebook if you have a Nook or you have iBooks. It's now available on Nook and iBooks. And uh, we're hoping it soon will be available on the Kindle store. So this is the second. Uh, in the series, the, the Foggy Point Light Trilogy, this is the second one, and uh, that will be available. So, now, do uh, you have to read the first volume to understand the second volume? You don't have to read the first volume to read the second volume. It's, uh, it's, the stories are, are actually uh, quite different. It's not a retelling of the same story. However, it will be a help if you read the first one, too. You'll understand some of the references that are made and ripples if you have actually read Foggy Point Light. So I, I would actually recommend reading them in order uh, for there. But it says, it's set in North Carolina, so if you're a North Carolina native or you just like North Carolina or you live overseas and you've never even been to North Carolina, it's set in North Carolina and uh, it, it should be a, an interesting story. So check that out. You can go to the Kindle store now and get Foggy Point Light. It's also available in paperback and paperback and it will be available uh, soon. Uh, for ripples. Yep, right. so let's see, is there anything else that we need to talk about that we've done this year? Oh, it's, it was a really interesting year uh, all the way around. I, I don't know, what else? Uh, I'm thinking we hit the highlights. I mean, yeah, I think those are the two main highlights that we've done is our Washington trip and our coastal trips. I think there's one more major highlight. Somebody got a new car to, this year. Oh, yeah, that's right. From their papa. Somebody oh, yeah. did, didn't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, it's a, uh, what is it? It's a uh, 2012, is it? Yes, 2012. 2012 Honda Civic, right? Yeah, right? it's a nice one, too. I like it. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Yeah, you actually can't drive it, though, right? Because you're, right, but, you're uh, legally blind. But it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of something for all of us to enjoy. You've been enjoying it too, haven't you? Yeah, I'm your official chauffeur and Daddy's your other secondary. Yeah, chauffeur. and I know Daddy's been enjoying it too because it's, uh, it's actually got the iPhone dock where you can plug in the iPhone and listen to like a little stereo thing with things on your iPhone through the car. Yeah, maybe yeah. one day you'll be able to drive. Maybe one day they'll have the electric cars where you can actually drive your they drive themselves or something. Yeah, yes. but for now I have my uh, Honda that uh, mom and dad chauffeur. Yeah. And that's working out pretty good, but I am enjoying my car. Yeah, and pa Papa wanted to give that to you as a present because you're at the age where most teenage boys start driving. Yeah. So, and he wanted you to have that kind of experience of getting a new car. So, yeah, because this is about the time that most teenagers would be doing that. Yeah, it's not really a new car, but it's new to us, isn't it? Right. And it's a cool mist color, isn't it? It's a pretty yeah, unique color. Yeah, it's kind color. of a unique color. It kind of stands out a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. I think that's actually what it is called, cool mist. Yeah, Yeah, I think uh, we uh, think we found that out somewhere, didn't we? Yeah, we, we looked up the uh, cold number for the color or something. Yeah, I we think. looked it up on the internet. Yeah, and found but that so out. you need to thank your papa again for that car. Yes. That was very nice of him to do that. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so that's uh, that's been our year. It's been, a, it's been an interesting year. Yeah, I think that's trips. the main highlights is our uh, Washington trips, our coastal trips, and the new car. Yeah, and what about the hat you're wearing, TJ? Yeah, this is a uh, recent uh, gift. I got this hat for Christmas from Sergeant... Terry, how do you pronounce her last name? Garofalo. Garofalo? Garofalo, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, and she's a police sergeant in New York City, and she uh, she sent me this uh, hat as a Christmas present. So, so I, bend your head down just a little bit. Yep, there I go. Okay, there, there you go. See I it on see, there yeah, now? I can see it now, so. Yep, so okay. a big thank you to Sergeant Garofalo of New York City for the hat. And, um... Mm, and yeah, so this should be a fun New Year's celebration, shouldn't it? It is. I'm already excited. 
I'm uh, just looking at that ball gets me excited there. Just seeing all those colors. Yeah, it's and, uh, different from what we've done in previous years, isn't it? It is, but it's it's going to be fun. So in about let's see, we got about 52 minutes. It looks like so in about 52 minutes, so maybe maybe at around five till, we'll rejoin uh, we'll rejoin the video and we'll do the countdown. Yeah, so that'll be fun. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And TJ's ball is going to drop again. We didn't have a ball last year, did we? Why didn't we have a ball last year? Uh, I think we just decided to do something different. Yeah, I think we uh, we just decided to be different last year, but we've, we've had several people request the uh, ball drop to come back. So we decided to honor those requests, and like I say, we're doing something a little bit different with a multicolored ball this year. So I hope everyone enjoys it. And stay tuned for the official TJ Elevator Fan New Year's Ball Drop to win in 2018. Alright, so here we are back again, and it's almost time to win in the New Year, isn't it? It is almost time. Let's see, what time is it now? We have 2 minutes and 18 seconds is uh, what we've got here. Two minutes and 14 now. This is getting exciting, isn't it? Are you excited? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited here tonight. How about you? I am, too, and the ball is getting ready to start its descent. It'll uh, it'll start in about one minute, and we got two minutes left. We'll start the ball going down in about... Actually, the ball starts going down in about 30 seconds. I don't know that I can make this thing last a minute. So we'll start the ball down in about 30 seconds. And then it'll be the time for the new year. One minute, 48 seconds until the new year. Almost here. It is. Almost here. This is... Uh, TJ, you're sitting there, but I can't see you, but we know you're there. <laughs> yeah, I'm here while well, I'm kinda kneeling, dark. so... <laughs> yep, it's kind of dark, but we wanted it with yep, the Yeah, but we wanted it this way so that we can get a good view of our ball. That's right. So we have brought back the ball drop this year. I'm excited to bring back the ball drop, aren't you, TJ? Yeah, and I'm sure all the viewers will be too, because apparently the ball drop has been missed last year. Yeah, it, it just adds a certain excitement to the new year. I mean, it's almost like being in New York <laughs> in our den. You know, we've, uh, it really is. Yep, so let's see how much time we got now. Looks like we got one minute. One minute until 2018. <laughs> this is this is fun. And 2017's been a pretty good year, and I'm... I'm yeah, we've already that, uh, gone over some of the major highlights of this year. We have, and I'm really hoping that 2018 will get to be just as good. Yeah, uh, we hopefully, hopefully better. We'll, yeah, hopefully we'll have some major highlights of 2018 too. Yeah, hopefully we will. Okay, 37 seconds, 36. The ball's going to start going down in about 30 seconds, uh, and we'll see it start. Okay, there are 30 seconds, and we're seeing the ball going down now. Look Here at goes that. the ball. There goes the ball, 22, 21, 20, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and Happy, Happy New Year, Year 2018, 2018 from TJ Elevator Fan. From TJ Elevator Fan, we wish you everybody a happy new year. Uh, from TJ Elevator Fan's dad as well. Yep. Hope it's a good one. That's hope right. 2017 was a good one for you too. Yeah, I hope it was, and hope everybody enjoyed the ball drop this year. This is this has been an exciting new year, bringing the ball back, and hope everybody has enjoyed it. Yep. So happy. So there new you year. have it. Happy new year, everybody.